You have criticized Hillary Clinton as the, quote, personification of the rot that has sickened the Democratic Party. What is the rot you see in the Democratic Party? That our Democratic Party, unfortunately, is not the party that is of, by, and for the people. It's a par it is a party that has been and continues to be influenced by the foreign policy establishment in Washington, represented by Hillary Clinton and others' foreign policy, by the military-industrial complex and other greedy corporate interests. I'm running for president to be the Democratic nominee that rebuilds our Democratic Party, takes it out of their hands, and truly puts it in the hands of the people of this country, a party that actually hears the voices of Americans who are struggling all across this country, and puts it in the hands of veterans and fellow Americans who are calling for an end to this ongoing Bush-Clinton-Trump foreign policy doctrine of regime change wars, overthrowing dictators and other countries, needlessly sending my brothers and sisters in uniform into harm's way to fight in wars that actually undermine our national security and have cost us thousands of American lives. These are wars that have cost us as American taxpayers trillions of dollars since 9-11 alone, dollars that have come out of our pockets, out of our hospitals, out of our schools, out of our infrastructure needs. As president, I will end this foreign policy, end these regime change wars work to end this new Cold War and arms race, and instead invest our hard-earned taxpayer dollars actually into serving the needs thank, of the American people thank you, kind right here at home. Senator Harris, any response? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I think that um, it, it's unfortunate that we have someone on the stage who is attempting to be the Democratic nominee for President of the United States, who during the Obama administration spent four years full time on Fox News criticizing President Obama. That's who ridiculous. Has spent full time, That's who ridiculous. has spent full time criticizing people on this stage as affiliated with the Democratic Party. When Donald Trump was elected, not even sworn in, buddied up to Steve Bannon to get a meeting with Donald Trump in the Trump Tower, fails to call a war criminal by what he is as a war criminal, and then spends full time during the course of this campaign, again, criticizing the Democratic Party. What we need on the stage on, in the November is someone who has the ability to win. And by that, we need someone on that stage who has the ability to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Donald Trump and someone who has the ability to rebuild the Obama coalition and bring the party and the nation together. I believe I am that candidate. Thank you, Senator. Um, Congress, yes. Congresswoman Gabbard, I'll give you a chance well, to respond. What Senator Harris is doing is unfortunately continuing to traffic in lies and smears and innuendos because she cannot challenge the substance of the argument that I'm making, the leadership and the change that I'm seeking to bring in our foreign policy, which only makes me guess that she will, as president, continue the status quo, continue the Bush-Clinton-Trump foreign policy of regime change wars which is, is deeply destructive. This is personal to me because I served in Iraq. I left my seat in the state legislature in Hawaii, volunteered to deploy to Iraq, where I served in a medical unit where every single day I saw the terribly high human cost of war. I take very seriously the responsibility that the president has to serve as commander-in-chief, to lead our armed forces, and to make sure always, no, I'm not going to put party interests first. I will put the thank interests you. of the American people Thank you, people Congresswoman. I want, to, I want to briefly give Senator Harris a final second to respond. I believe that uh, what our nation needs right now is a nominee who can speak to all people. I spent my entire career standing mostly in a courtroom speaking five words, Kamala Harris for the people. And it was about all the people, regardless of their race, regardless of their gender, regardless of where they live geographically, regardless of the party with which they're registered to vote or the language their grandmother speaks. We need someone on this debate stage in November who has the ability to unify the country and to win the election. Thank and I believe again, I am that candidate. Thank you for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can subscribe by tapping the button below me and on the left you can see our latest updates, investigations and digital exclusives. We'll see you next time.